There's no doubt about it that when it comes to rendering technology, Eevee's like way ahead of the game, but it's lacking in one important area at the moment, and that is that it has no object motion blur. And you know, if it's coming soon, it's in the to-do list on the uh, developer website, but you know, when's it gonna happen? 283, 280, 20,000? Um, who knows, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a quick tip today. It's just gonna be uh, basically taking a motion vector pass out of cycles and applying it to your EV render. And I'll show you how to set it up so it's nice and easy to use, nice and quick to render. So let's get into it. All right, so we have this logo here. <clears throat> I've spent months making this, like it's perfect, right? Now I just wanna add a little bit of motion blur because at the beginning here, it's moving fairly quickly. First thing you need to do is just go up to where it says scene here, hit the new scene button, and we're gonna do a linked copy. And that'll just, basically what it says, just keep everything linked. So any changes we make in our main scene will propagate into this scene as well. And we're just gonna rename it to MB for motion blur. Go down here to your render settings and change it to cycles. Uh, we don't need a lot of uh, sampling here. We just need enough to make the edges look nice. So that can be sort of like 32. Um, in the film setting, you just want to make sure that transparent is ticked. Um, it is in this case because uh, it was already set in the file, but this defaults to being off. So you just want to make sure this is checked. Then you're just going to go into your view layer settings, turn on this vector pass. So we'll go into the shading editor here. We'll create a new shader by clicking this button here. We'll call it black. Select this and delete it with X. Shift A, add in a new emission shader. Just plonk that down there, plug it into the surface, make sure it's black, and then we wanna reassign our green shader. Then go back into the view layer settings here, click override down the bottom, and pick the black shader. Now let's do a quick test render with F12 to make sure everything's coming out black. And there it is, looks good. Now switch back to our main scene. We're gonna go into the compositing area, turn on use nodes, and then we're gonna take this render layers node here, Shift D to duplicate. And down, down the bottom where it says scene, let's make that scene MB. And you'll notice you'll get this little vector. So what we wanna do now is just Shift A, click search and type vector and grab this vector blur. And we're gonna take the image and the depth from this top node here and plug it in. That's our EV render. And then this is our vector cycles render. So we're just gonna grab that vector, plug it into speed. And then we'll plug image into image. Now what I like to do here is just make a quick uh, render view up the top rather than using this backdrop mode. So we'll just split this view, turn this top one into an image editor, click this menu here and select render result. And then we want to just go up to here to the render menu, turn display mode to keep user interface so it won't pop up a window right in our face. And then we can just hit F12. And there we have it. And some nice motion blur. Um, you can see it looks a little bit low quality, a little bit stroby. So what you can do is you can turn the samples up. We could try like 64. And there you go, it looks pretty good. Well, that's it guys, just a quick tip today. If you haven't been to my channel before, uh, please feel free to go check out some of the other videos. And if you like what you see, please uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.